helps if I turn the mic on. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't hear me. We're here for our joy of sharing. And our joy of sharing this year has started a project where we try to get the art and mixed media community to be more of a community and to talk and share and teach. And I love that idea. So I'm here for you uh, in January. And this month we are going to be sharing five of our favorite um, small YouTube channels, inspirational places we go and th highlight other artists, not myself. I love that idea. So I am going to go to YouTube. I've got my iPad down there. Um, and I'm going to actually look at my library of things I've watched recently. And one of the first ones that comes up is my dear friend, Vicki Brown. Now, I am not going to promote her channel because she's my friend. Honestly, yes, she's my friend. She's an absolutely hilarious human being. She's also a fabulous doodle artist and bookmaker and paper bead artist crafter like in her own right she's wonderful she constantly inspires me to be better with my doodling which she does a lot of zen tangle type doodling that i have like no patience for and i admire her because she can do something i can't <laughs> i would like to be better at it so she makes me want to practice so her channel on youtube is called messy table studio um, as at the time of filming this i literally just watched um, her um, video for my creative year for prompt the prompt tools where she talks about her favorite um, doodling pens and drawing pens and why they're her favorites and what the drawbacks of each one of them are and I love that idea so there is another one who I find interesting her name is Al John um, on YouTube two words and I'm gonna link all these channels in the description below um, she has a very unique way of creating embellishments and supplies out of inexpensive things that you probably already have in your craft room um, or you can get very cheaply and very easily so I love to watch her channel. She has a series called Build Your Stash and Craft. And I, while I don't always, uh, I'm not always interested in doing what she's showing in the video because some of it has strictly to do with paper crafting and, and card making some, um, I find it fascinating and it's very inspiring to see what you can do with very little. I love that. So there's another artist I really find inspiring. Um, her channel is Sharon Cullen Art. Now she does do a few haul videos, which I'm, if, you, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm not that into haul videos. I'm not into bragging um, and I'm not into, you know, haul videos just make you buy things that you don't maybe don't need and don't necessarily want. But she has a way of doing her her videos, even the hauls that, you know, she gives you good information about the products that she's showing you. But, but that being aside, why do I like watching her? She's a wonderful watercolor artist and I am a watercolorist and I love when she does her watercolor tutorials. Absolutely love them. Here's another one that I love, and this is Draw Riot. And I love Draw Riot. They do have their own business and online store, and they do showcase their products, but they do have a really great channel, and they do um, have a weekly drawing challenge. Um, uh, sorry, daily drawing challenge on their blog. Um, and they also have um, good tutorials on their channel. I also love when they show um, how to use some of the products. Um, you don't have to go buy their products, but it's nice when they show you how to use them and you can take hints from their channel and apply them to what you already have. Does that make sense to anybody else? Um, I do love their weekly, I love their blog especially, so I will say this. I don't watch their YouTube channel as much as I follow their blog, and they have a daily drawing challenge once a month. At the beginning of the month, they put out a month's worth of prompts, and they encourage you to draw riot daily, and it is one of the two that I do do. I also do sketchbook school, so I love that, and I love their daily, their daily drawing prompts, so I'll, again, I'm going to link this in the description below. 
Um, I just checked and their uh, daily drawing prompts are also posted in their Facebook group and their fa uh, their, I will link their Facebook group um, in the description below. I'm going to cut out these pauses, by the way. <laughs> I am pausing. You're not probably seeing that because I'm cutting it out of the video, but yeah. Um, who else? How many is that? Does anybody know? Is that three? I think that might be three. You know, there's one other channel that I like that I want to shout out. And I love her channel. I watch it on a regular basis. And by no means are these five the five, only five I watch. I watch so many uh, channels. I have a huge subscription list. But another one I want to call out and bring some attention to, my dear friend Lisa uh, Swank. Uh, she is a great artist in her own right, and she is a member of my, or has been a member in the past of my design team. Um, she isn't this year, uh, but she is uh, helping out with a few other collaborations. That's not why, why I'm calling her out. I'm just giving you guys the the poop on it and being real with you. Um, I love her art. I love her style. She comes up with ways of using things that I wouldn't even think of. She has her own unique spin on things and she has a way of expressing herself in her art that I just love. And I love hearing her voice in her art. So Lisa Swank, I encourage you to go check all five of these channels out, see what you think, like, share, and subscribe. And if you have five that you think I need to check out, I sure would love to set, have you leave a comment below. Leave their channels in the comments below. I would love to do that. That's it for today. Don't forget to go out. Have a great day. Share your joy of art. Do something nice for yourself and maybe somebody else because they deserve it and so do you. That's it for right now. See you later. Bye, guys.